So here we are at the Musselburgh Electronic Weather Station, EWS station in Dunedin. Today we're going to calibrate the OTA rain gauge, which is situated within the compound. The first thing we want to do is just do a quick visual. Is the rain gauge looking okay? How's the foundation? So you want to check the uh, as the bolts go into the concrete, uh, the stainless, the nuts, the condition of those, are they okay? Nothing deteriorated, the concrete's not cracked. The general legs uh, with the cables going in, no problem. And also inside, what's it like when we first arrive? As you can see in this case there's bird droppings. It's a little bit of dirt under the top screen. If we take the screen out, Below, again, there's also grass right down on the bottom filter before it goes through to the buckets. So the first thing we want to do is calibrate it as it is. So we're not going to clean it; we'll just leave it as we found it and go from there. So before we do any calibration, we want to disconnect the outer from the circuit as it comes into the locker here. So we're going to disconnect it off the two terminals at the bottom, so that it's no longer to put any false tips that we're going to do through the system into the logger maybe to a client real time uh, it's going to save us editing them out later so once our leads are off we're going to connect it to the rain gauge counter through these two terminals here make sure we've got a good positive connection power it up and then our rain gauge counter here we reset to zero we can test that it is working by just touching these together and we can see it's counting up we just keep these separated so we don't give a false count Reset that and we're ready to calibrate out the rain gauge. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is run our required amount of water through the rain gauge before we clean it. So we're not going to touch it, we're going to leave it as is. So with the tap open, we'll fill the tube. It'll then run down the internal tube now, turn the tap off, top up the calibrator to overflows. Wind the top on and we're ready to start. Opening the tap starts to flow. You can see the air going back into the calibrator fine stream of water and the odor tipping and at the counter end we can see that it's counting away now the last trace of water has just come through back to a drip so checking our calibrator now at the end we've got 40 tips so our range for an odor with a 0.5 millimeter buckets in this case is 37 to 42 tips so we're in the middle of here and even though the buckets may be dirty they are checking out fine so we'll now pull the rain gauge apart, check and clean it inside and retest it again. So our aim is to do at least two pre-clean calibration checks, up to four if you've got the time. Then we'll clean the rain gauge and repeat it, at least two, up to four afterwards. So we'll remove the outer. Three screws around the outside, don't lose them. And at this point we're going to clean both grates. So just removing any, in this case, bird droppings, grass. It's clean. And again, inside can see the grass coating on the inside grill and the inside of the rim which we'll also remove. So much cleaner, run some water through it. Check the 
the bottom, that's fine. Clean the grate. Let her rinse. Go back together. So you can see the difference this has made. Much cleaner, showing you. So next we want to check two things. Firstly, is the outer level and clean the top chamber and the buckets. So we can clean the top chamber. And the buckets themselves, these ones are fairly good, it often helps just to support them while you're doing this, there's no pressure on the mechanism. Check they're moving freely. And also check that we have a level gauge in this case. It's bang on, no problem there. You see there's some moth balls in here just to help keep some insects out, spiders. Spider webs can gather and obviously stop the mechanism working. Sometimes I just run a little bit of water through here to flush any sediment out. So be careful at this stage not to spill or splash water around the base or over the bearings which will affect the performance of the bucket. So it's all running freely. That's good, so we'll empty those buckets and now we're ready to recalibrate after cleaning. So back on with the lid. Always taking note of course of the serial number and the bucket size. And remember to reset our counter before we start. You see it's up at 62 because of all the false counts. Reset that to zero. Reset up the calibrator. Fill it up till it runs freely. Close the tap. Top it up. On with the nozzle. Now we've reset that to zero, we're set to go. And we can see this time we've got 39 tips, so 40 the first time around. Could have been one more because the buckets may have been uh, had some rain still still left in them so maybe half a tip there ready to go so after a clean and emptying the buckets we've got 39 so which is two above our 37 minimum 37 to 43 for a half mil rain gauge outer rain gauge in this case so that's good so we'll now repeat that uh, for two three four if we've got time calibration checks okay the other thing we want to do is check the resistance of the reed switch so the ohms so if we put our meter on our ohms setting here, and just test it across the, the normal two contacts, and if we hold the buckets, you can hear the reed switch connect. It takes a wee while to do reading, they've got a 0.1 there. When it comes out of the lab, it's one ohm or less, where in the field we're happy with five ohms or less. So again across the contacts, 0.1, so this gauge is pretty good. So the other thing we can check here is continuity, you can hear the beep again across, across our two terminals, there's a bucket, you can hear it beeping as the circuit connects. So just another check of how well the gauge is going. And of course the biggest trap is, lastly, reconnect. 
the outer cable and ensure those connections are tight And then we're ready. That's all. Job done. Here's an example of a poorly neglected crane gauge. You see cobwebs. Not level. Bucket's very dirty. Very bad state. In fact, not working. <laughs>